Good afternoon, everyone. Today I'd like to run down a list of 15 other scientists who are predicting global cooling starting this year and next. So you can do more of your own research on this topic. It is going to take a combined effort among all nations, governments, and people to get through these next 30 years as our food prices rise exponentially beginning next year. I've had several people write to me and ask how they can find more information on this global cooling event. The researchers that are predicting these long-term solar minimums, there's a list of 15 that are quite well known. They each have the same very similar start and end dates. So let's run through a few here. I've put text references for each person so you can go ahead, Google search, do your own research, dive into the library, do some database scouring and see what you can find on your own. Dr. Abutsimov from the Russian Academy of Science. He's the head of space research at the Pukova Observatory in St. Petersburg. He was one of the main persons that came out along with John Casey talking about this period is starting right now. 2012 to 2015 should be the beginning point. David Archibald predicts in solar cycle 24 and 25 we're going to drop about one and a half degrees Celsius and we will enter some sort of Dalton minimum cooling by 2020. That's only five years away. And from the Terrestrial Magnetism Astronomical Institute in the Slovak Academy, we have Dr. Badalan and Dr. Obrinko also talking about the Wolf minimum, which is two cycles preceding the Maunder minimum. And how you can see they're on a, it seems to be about a 200 year time window when they reoccur. Then we also have Dr. Bonev, Dr. Kaloyan, and Dr. Silo also talking about long term minimum solar variability. Next is John Casey. You definitely want to check out his site at the Space and Science Research Corporation. He's the one who's been doing the most public speaking in English for you to understand. John Casey is the one you want to Google or check him out on YouTube. Quite a bit of information. His charts are far more advanced than mine. He's the one putting together all the research. He's trying to get out the word that we're past the point of no return. You know, there's 8 billion people living on our planet right now. There is no room for anybody to migrate anywhere. We're not just going to go into a new place and start growing food. There's people everywhere. There needs to be an action plan by governments. At least consider the worst case scenario of a cold event going down 2 to 3 degrees Celsius. Dr. Peter Harris, some amazing analysis of glacial and interglacial cycles, and he's also right up there, 94% of imminent global cooling. Victor Manuel Herrera. Also from the University of Mexico, small ice age coming that will last 60 to 80 years. Dr. Hong, Dr. Jiang, Dr. Liu, Dr. Zhou, Dr. Beer, Dr. Lung, Dr. Hong, and Dr. Qin. Also from the Chinese team of researchers, expect another solar minimum based on oxygen 18 in the peat bogs coming up between 2000 and 2050. Additional researchers who predict long-term solar hibernation, that's another key term you can look for besides grand solar minimum, both those will work. Dr. Kormitov, this comes out of Bulgaria and their Institute of Astronomy, Dr. Kaftan in the Central Research Institute, Geodesy, Moscow, also predicts a bicentennial called supercentennial solar minimum starting in the next decade. Dr. Landscheidt in the Schroeter Institute for Research in Cycles of Solar Activity. Coldest phase should be around 2030. Dr. Patterson, Department of Earth Sciences in Carleton University. Using satellite data to show that by 2020 we are going to get back into a little ice age scenario around 13th century temperatures. Let's say between 1400 and 1860. Dr. Shatin and Dr. Tobiska are looking for a Maunder type solar minimum. And Dr. Sorokdim, also from the Russian Academy of Natural Sciences, predict a, a cold spell will be starting by 
2012 to 2015 and run through 2041. Dr. Wilson, Bob Carter, and Dr. Waite also predicting a 1 to 2 degrees Celsius drop. And you do understand a 2 degrees Celsius drop takes us back to 400 year temperatures and 25% of the people on the planet starve to death. And finally, to round out the list, Dr. Zhen Shan and Xun Xian out of Nanjing Normal University in Zhongguo in China also look over the next couple of years that the trend will follow a 20 year downturn in temperatures. Again, I'll reference John Casey. He wrote a couple of books about this particular event. Cold Sun was the first one that I read that really opened my eyes as to what we are facing. And Dr. Casey's second book, Dark Winter, which was just released, How the Sun is Going to Last for a 30-Year Cold Spell. I haven't read this book yet, but I do recommend Cold Sun. It's a short read. Once you pick it up, you will not put it down. Once you pick it up, you will start reading it, and you will read that thing cover to cover. And you will highlight it, you will underline things, you will go to the internet, and you will look up information after you read that book. Good luck in your research. Hope you found something that can be helpful for you on some of the factors that will affect foodstuffs across the planet.